I'm always going on about image optimization. I'm sure you're bored by the amount of videos I keep putting out there, especially for your WordPress website, page speed performance, and all of that. But did you know that Canva gives you a compression image setting as well? Because here we have an image which is 1920 by 1080, and this is probably going to be about three megabytes when I download it. There is a compression option as well, but should you just rely on that, or should you still resort to using things like bulkresizephotos.com. Now what I'm gonna tell you, I have tested out on about five different images and I keep getting the same kind of results. Now I've gone and picked an image which is like a powder explosion effect because I wanna like analyze some of the detail. Now if you go over to a standard image and this is 1920 by 1080 and you go to download, uh, you get the option to do a PNG, but also you have compress file. Here's the original image without me hitting the compress option, and it was actually 4.7 megabytes. I, I got my sizing wrong there. It's 4.7 megabytes, 1920 by 1080. And now here's the image, which is the compressed version, and the compressed version is still quite big. It's 1.2 megabytes. Did you notice any difference in the quality? So here's the compressed version, and there's the original. I think there's literally no difference in the quality, so that's one good thing. So we now know the compressed version is nearly a quarter of the size of what the original one was. However, if you put these images into bulkresizephotos.com, and that's what we're gonna do now, so let's go and select our images, the original and the compressed one, we hit open, we set it to be 100% size, WebP and we'll leave it at 80% uh, image quality. We're not bothered by transparent background. You can use this website for free. We'll hit start and it's gone from six megabytes to 1.2. Here's a reminder of what the original images looked like and then I'm gonna show you the WebP version. And there you go, that's now the WebP one. I mean, you might think I'm lying, but literally I, I'm, I'm, I'm swapping the images back over. It's the same quality. But here's the interesting aspect. Look at the sizes. The original was 4.7, the compressed version was 1.2. But when you put them through bulkresizephotos.com, and to be honest, nearly any WebP conversion tool, the original image, which was 4.7, converts down to a smaller size than the compressed one. So I've tested this out with five different images and I kept getting the same results. So even though Canva allows you to compress, if you're gonna put it through bulkresizephotos.com or any other WebP conversion plugin or tool, my recommendation would be take the original image without using the compress option and then put it through bulk resize. Now I know a lot of you are gonna say, come on, right? The sizes aren't that different, 592, 618. In some cases, I got a different of about 50 to 100 kilobytes, so it will depend on the image. But time and time again, it was better to use the non-compressed image before you put it through bulk resize photos.com or any other tool. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. This is just what I'm sharing with you, my findings. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.